I didn't want to be a rock star, and I didn't want to be a movie star. No pictures, please. I want to be a health-based culinary expert, a cook star, and so can you. Hi, my name is Remy, and today on Cook Time, we're gonna prep and cook one of my favorite dishes called kiwi fruit salsa. Okay, first things first. The number one rule on cook time with Remy is that you always check with a parent or an adult before you start cooking. Next, it's very important to wash your hands before cooking any food. Okay, let's get started. Today, we're making kiwi fruit salsa. One of my favorite ingredients is kiwi. It tastes good and it's really good for you. The next thing we need to do is grab our cooking pots, pans, and bowls. So here we have our mixing bowl and my spoon. We will also need to have the ingredients used to make this fresh salsa. So we will need yellow bell pepper and green bell pepper, a nice crunch to it. Then we have a little kick, some jalapeno, a cool cucumber just sitting there, red onion, some fresh lime juice, of course our kiwi, cilantro, some pineapple, orange juice, olive oil, honey for a little sweetness, and of course some salt and pepper. Did you know that the kiwi fruit was originally referred to as a Chinese gooseberry because China was where the fruit was discovered? Later, a California produce dealer renamed Chinese fruit to kiwi fruit because of how it resembled a fuzzy brown flightless bird. Got there flightless. Okay, the first thing we want to do is add our cucumbers into our bowl. And one thing I love using cucumbers is because they're so crunchy and they just taste so good. Next, we have some red onion. And actually, I had this one time when I was cutting onion and then I just started bawling like a baby. And then we have some yellow bell pepper, more crunch in there, and some green bell pepper. Then we have some pineapple for a little sweetness. And some jalapeno, a little spicy to go with the sweet. You wanna be careful with that sucker. Then of course, we have some kiwi. And did you know, in 1992, kiwi was ranked among the top 10 most nutritious foods because it has more vitamin C than an orange and has more potassium than a banana. So to sum it up, it's really healthy. Then we have our cilantro. Nice little touch in there, strong flavor. And then some salt and some pepper. And then I'm gonna mix this up. And also, did you know that kiwi was discovered in the Changqing Valley in China? And then we have our sauce over here. It's orange juice. I'm gonna add some olive oil to it. Then we have oops, some lime juice, some citrus in there, and some honey. Of course, we have some sweetness in there. I'll probably have to force this out to get my spoon there. There you go. Let's clean this up over here. Uh, and then we're gonna mix this up. And remember, whenever you have any kind of sauce or dressing you wanna add on your salsa or your salad, you always wanna put it on right before you serve it. So that way your salsa doesn't get soggy because trust me, no one likes a soggy salsa. So we can go ahead and put this on just enough to get a nice good coat on it. And then stir this up. And the mixing technique I like to use is called folding. So basically you just bring everything from the bottom and bring it up. And that way it's just easier, it gets all your ingredients mixed really well and quick. And now, as presentation always matters because we eat with our eyes. Here's my presentation plate. We can go ahead and put this in our bowl over here. Get everything in there because you don't want to miss any of this salsa. There we go, last touch. And then, you have your kiwi fruit salsa. When you're cooking,
cooking, it's always very important to make sure your ingredients measurements are right. Also, your ingredients should be as fresh as possible so your food tastes the best. Remember the cook time rule. You should always include all five food groups whenever making each meal. Cooking is fun and the food you make should taste good and be healthy for you. Now for my favorite part, the taste test. Mmm. I love salsa. I mean, who doesn't love salsa? Not only is it extremely yummy, but it's really fun to eat. And the kiwi definitely takes center stage in this dish. All kids should lead a healthy, active, and nutritious life. And we all play a role educating young people about healthy choices, including the 16 million children at risk of hunger in the U.S. Join me, Sodexo, and our partner, Share Our Strength, to help raise awareness about the one in five kids at risk of hunger by joining the movement of Generation No Kid Hungry. Thank you for hanging out with me on Cook Time with Remy. See you next time when we'll be making peas and orange saute. Time is it, it's cook time. Time is it, it's cook time. What? Boom. Shaka boom. Hi, I'm Chef Remy of Cook Time Drummy. I have a passion for cooking healthy and encouraging kids to have fun in the kitchen. I just finished my first cookbook called Global Cooking for Kids with recipes from around the world. You can get a copy of Global Cooking for Kids at cooktimedrummy.com. As a teen entrepreneur, I often get asked how I started my business at such a young age. Well, I'm proud to be a mentor on thrive15.com where you can learn to start your own business. Just log on to thrive15.com, enter the code REMY for a free, yes free, 30-day trial. <laughs>